number. I, don't, I forgot my numbers, guys. I'm not even gonna count down no more because I ain't gonna lie to you. I forgot. This mess of emotions got his body questioning. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. And today I'm gonna be doing an Ulta Beauty makeup haul as well as some products that I use for freelance makeup. Um, as some of you may know, I am a freelance makeup artist. So these are some beginner tips and some beginner products that I would use if you're planning on starting your own makeup business or to, you know, do freelance makeup, as well as just some real great products for your everyday use. So with no further ado, here we go. So number one, when it comes to going to Ulta, my biggest thing is finding the deals. Because a lot of times when I go to Ulta, I end up spending a lot of money and I hate to do that. If anybody knows me, I'm super, super duper frugal and I just hate spending a lot of money for no apparent reason. So when I go, sometimes I look online, sometimes, you know, I'll just go in the store and see what their deals are. And if it's a product that I use, then I'll just grab it in bulk, especially if I'm, you know, doing other people's makeup, especially if you are a makeup artist, freelance, working for a company, whatever, I would advise you do that. Oh, disclaimer, Ulta is not sponsoring this video, neither are any of these products that I'm going to be showing you guys today. However, <laughs> if y'all want to sponsor me, you know, holla at your girl. My first, my number one, number one go-to makeup product is, drum roll please, it's my Fit Me Foundations. So for me, I use the... Matte Poreless, Normal to Oily, um, Fit Me Foundation. I'm trying to see what, oh, it's in the color Cappuccino, which is 340. So I'm a 340. It looks kind of like this. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Um, but honestly, this foundation is to die for, okay? And it's cheap. It's very cheap. And I would advise anybody who has, you know, clients, to use this because not only do you not spend a lot of money for it but it really goes on so smooth with any skin type any skin type as long as you use a good good um primer it should go in go, go on with no problem the 340 this is me personally this is my personal you know color i don't have to mix it or anything like that i just use it and i'm good to go honey however the deal that I just ran across was buying, um, I think it was buy one, get one half off. So I ended up buying four. So any good makeup artist, and I got these, I got all four of these. Just different shades. Um, so any makeup artist knows that, you know, when it comes to doing a person's makeup, you have to match their skin tone, you have to match their color, otherwise everything is completely thrown off. So what I would advise is for you to buy a couple of these, you don't have to buy all the shades, but I would say get somewhere from super duper light to super duper dark, so that if you need to, you could mix them and then I'm pretty, I guarantee you, you will find the right color if you mix some together. So, I wanna say they're $7.99. I want to say they're $7.99, however, I'm going to list everything in the description box below and um, I'll put the prices and the products and everything like that. I also used these products, all the products that I'm showing you today. I actually used them to do this look today that, you know, I'm wearing right now. I used this look today because um, I have a client that actually wanted to go for this look, so I wanted to try it on myself. I typically do that. If I have a client and um, they want to go for a certain makeup look, I try it on myself to see how it's going to look first and to see if I achieved the look properly and accurately, and then, of course, I'll do it on my client. Number two, I use the LA Pro Girl Concealer. Once again, a very, very affordable product. Um, <clears throat> super affordable, um, super great products. I know a lot of people use these products, but this was also um, buy one, get one half off at Ulta Beauty. 
and um, the color that I use is Fawn. However, of course, I had to get them in several different shades. I probably should have got more than this. I just got four just to match the four different foundations. I don't know what I was trying to go for today. I was just buying stuff. But yes, I did buy four of them today because I wanted to make sure that whatever I was doing, um, whatever skin tone I was doing, I would be able to achieve the perfect look for my clients, sorry, for my clients as well as myself. So I went ahead and I purchased four of these just in case you know I don't really use any other concealer I know a lot of people have told me about concealers and different types uh, but you know once again I'm super duper frugal and I try to save money anytime I can so if it ain't broke don't fix it okay I didn't get a chance to use this but my best friend actually told me about this is the um, Maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser um, yeah, I didn't get to use these, but or use this today. I actually forgot. I don't know. I wasn't in a rush or anything. I just, I think my mind just went blank when I started my makeup because I was like, oh my god, it's such a rainy day, and I want to do this and I want to do that, and I'm thinking all about all of this while I'm starting my makeup. So that's probably why I forgot. Anyways, I have put coconut oil and stuff like that on my skin anyway before, but. Um, if you guys have used this product, let me know. But the typical product that I would get is the Too Faced. Um, it's the Too Faced um, Just Peachy, I believe. But once again, I'm going to link that in the description box below as well. So um, you guys could know the exact name of what I use and what I get from Ulta Beauty as well. So the next product that I bought is I bought the Mario Badescu, I think that's what it's called, but it's the facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. Um, I use this one, I got the big bottle. It's, it's fairly um, affordable, I think it's like $12. Um, but yeah, I use this to actually set my face when I'm done. And it is to die for, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I've tried the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, and um, in my unsolicited opinion, I think I could do without paying $34 for a setting spray because this works just as good, as well as NYX, I use NYX, um, or NYX, whatever you guys call it, um, but I use that as well. I, once again, I'm, I'm trying to ball out on a budget when it comes to these makeup products. I don't necessarily have to pay for it, but I mean, it's nice. It's a nice thing to have, but it's not necessary, especially if you're going for a nice dewy finish. However, if you do want a mattifying finish, I would suggest probably NYX mattifying um, spray, or if you want to go the more expensive route or, you know, name brand, I guess you could say, route, uh, I would say you could go for the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. <laughs> uh, the next thing that I love, 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 love as far as eyeshadows is the um, Nubian 2 palette by Juvia. This is bomb, like, is literally to die for. So I have to show you guys these colors because I don't think y'all gonna believe me if I just told you about it. So this is what the palette looks like out of the box. And these are the colors in the palette. Super duper pigmented, super duper beautiful colors, a great array of colors. Me personally, I'm into like sunset type of looks. So I will go for like all the golds, like so probably this gold, this gold, and this gold. And then like this orange and then probably this color. That's just me. I totally love this palette. I wish it would just focus. I wanna show you guys how pigmented it shows up. Pigmented, it shows up on my skin. I'm gonna swatch this one. So that's Nefertiti. I'm gonna swatch Nairobi, I think that's called. And then I'm gonna swatch the Morocco, so you guys can kind of get an idea of how pigmented and beautiful these colors are. This is Morocco. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Orange color shows up like a charm. Um, I said I was going to do Nefertiti. 
Oh my gosh. And then I'm gonna do Nairobi right next to it. Ugh. And they're soft, they feel so good, guys. These are the colors, let me show you. Look how beautiful they come up. Very neutral, very awesome colors. I love it, I love it, I love it. So, yes, I definitely use the Nubian 2 by Juvia's. Um, this is a great palette, especially for those that have darker skin tones. I would definitely advise you buying this. It's like $20. I think that's pretty affordable for a great eyeshadow kit. Um, you probably have everything you could possibly need in this one kit. So, it's definitely worth it if you ask me. Um, so, the next palette that I swear by and that was a part of my haul today um, is the Hot Spot Artistry Palette um, by Morphe. And... The outside of it looks like this. Sorry, I was just about to open it. The outside of it looks like this. It was actually on display, so I'm assuming it's fairly new. Well, newer. Um, and obviously, you guys know what Morphe looks like on the outside. These colors, guys, I don't need to buy no more eyeshadow for a while with all these beautiful colors. And once again, these colors are super duper pigmented as well. I mean, you guys know, I've heard about the James Charles um, palette and the Jaclyn Hill palette. I mean, all of those are awesome. I just wanted something with a lot of colors so that I could just, you know, bust down Tatiana. I'm just kidding. If I could bust down if I needed to. Um, I'm gonna swatch three colors for you on this one as well. Um, I'm gonna swatch this kind of orangish, reddish color right here. Cause you guys know I love like sunset looks. Like even on my, um, even on my like skin, like, it looks almost identical. Oh my gosh, I'm getting it everywhere. Why did I put that there? Hold on, let me put it on this finger or hand. So this is here. That's that one. Then I'm gonna do, let's see, which one y'all want me to swatch? Mm. Let's do this gold color right here. Whoops. Let's do this gold color. So I'm gonna swatch this one. That one looks amazing. That one is beautiful. And then I'm going to do one more. Let's see what these blues are looking like. Um, I'm going to do this color right here. This color, this blue. So I'm going to swatch that one right there. And I did that one swipe. One swipe for each and every single one of these guys. And it's beautiful. So I would like to say this one is about 24 if I'm not mistaken. So once again, super duper worth it. Super duper pigmented colors for anybody who is into shadows and want to ball on a budget. Once again, I personally feel like um, $24 is a great amount of money to spend on eyeshadow, especially if you do makeup a lot like me and if you have clients. Um, I would definitely advise getting either a Morphe or if you have more um, patience, I'm not patience, oh my God. What am I on today? If you have um, clients that have a deeper skin tones, um, I would definitely advise you using the Juvia's because they have a beautiful array of colors. Morphe has an amazing array of colors. It's just lit, okay? And also for those of you wondering what palette I used for this look that I achieved today with my eyeshadow, I actually, I'm sorry, I'm wiping off my hands from this swatch. Um, what palette I use. I use the Morphe palette and the colors that I used on my eyes were the, let's see, I used this one and then I used this one and then I used, I used a little bit of this kind of like brownish color um, because like I said, I wanted to do kind of a sunset look. And then I think I used some on the um, Juvia's um, Nubian 2 uh, palette as well. Maybe. Let me see. I just have to look. Yeah, I think I actually did. Yeah, I did. I used this orange, as you can see, and then I used uh, this kind of maroon color called Jezebel. So, Nefertiti and Jezebel. So, those are the two that I used on this palette as well. I then bought, I love Revolution, let's start there. Revolution is an amazing, amazing, amazing product. I love, not 
amazing product, but amazing brand. And it's super duper affordable for those of you who have went to Ulta. Um, you know, the Revolution section. They have banana powders. They have eyebrow pencils, lip pencils, lipsticks. Uh, you name it, they have it. It's, in a, it's a very affordable but very amazing line of products. And I love them. So I actually needed to buy a new brush. Um, not brush, but a brow pencil. And I found this. And it's called the Duo. I'm going to show you the um, actual product and the box. But it's called the Duo Brow Definer. And I actually use this as well. And it's in the color dark brown. The pencil actually looks like this. And it has two sides to it. So you have one side that's retractable and it has this um, retractable sort of uh, the, the pencil part. And then you have this side, which you just, it's like a spoolie. You brush the, um, brush your hairs up and then you do your makeup that way. And I love this. This was like five bucks, so worth it. My, I, I would like to say my brows look bomb. Let's zoom in on them real quick. Cause I think they look bomb, y'all. Just let me show y'all my brows, okay? They cute, I know. <laughs> definitely if you want a nice affordable brow pencil with the spoolie attached to it, I would definitely go for the Revolution. Um, this is a must have product. Definitely must have, love it. Um, my brows don't look too dark, they look perfect. And they have different shades. I think they have like a medium brown and then they have a light brown. I'm pretty sure they got like a blondish, I don't know. I don't know, but these are, this is the one I got. Um, and it works great. I love how my eyebrows turn out today. So I bought the Becca Mineral Blush. Um, and it comes in this uh, little thing. And let me open it up for you. And it looks like this. And I'm not sure, what's, what color is this? This is called Nighting, Nightingale, Nighting, Nightingale. And this is the color. I'm not one who usually wears blush, but I did put it on today because I know some of my clients love to wear blush. I'm not the blush wearing type of chick. So um, I bought it, you know, why not? Anything for the clients. Um, so yeah, I bought it and I tried it on today because like I said, I like to try the products that I um, put on my clients, on myself. And I loved it. I really did. It was a great product. Um, as you guys can see, it kind of gives that like warm, it warms up your face for sure. I definitely use bronzer for that. Um, or some of my eyeshadow if it's like, um, like a brownish eyeshadow that I have. I typically just put it everywhere and that's how I do mine. But some people love blush, but if you are a more like darker blushy type of girl I would definitely say go for the Becca um, mineral blush and it's in the color Nightingale definitely a great color and I really like it it's not too like clownish that's why I don't like using blush I feel like it's too like pink and I don't feel like it's pink it's like a very nice soft mauve not mauve but like a maroon color to say the least but I like it it's cute I got two more things. So I actually bought the banana powder in the color deep. And it looks like this. Okay. So I'm about to just give y'all my spill or my spill on banana powders. So me personally, I feel like I've tried every single banana powder there is known to man. From Laura Mercier to our Mercier, whatever you want to call it, translucent, the colored ones, um, Sasha Buttercup, Ben Nye, Airspun, NYX, or NYX, whatever you name it, I've tried it. One thing that I know for a fact that I need is an amazing, an amazing powder. So, I've actually used this before and I'm actually gonna do another review on these like different um different um baking powders or setting powders under the eye to show you guys the difference um, between a couple of them especially for women of color 
um, because I definitely think that that will definitely put together a look. It will make or break your whole entire makeup look, I promise you. For me, that's something, foundation and that, that's just everything. If, if the foundation is off, sometimes you could, you know, you could get right with the foundation, but if you have a bad um, setting powder, it ain't gonna work. It's just not gonna work. It's not gonna work at all. So, um, yeah, I definitely tried this before. And I wanna be honest. So I bought it because I definitely wanted to use something that was affordable because I have clientele and you don't want to buy stuff that's super duper expensive, especially when you have a lot of clients in and out. However, this is a good product, okay? It's, an, it's a good product. It's okay. I used it today. Like I said, I wanted to try it on my own skin. Um, I used it today. It was good. It was a little bit more yellowy than what I'm used to. Actually, I want to show you guys what it looks like. I don't know if you guys could see that. But it's a little like yellowy. It's like a yellowy sort of powder. And on your skin, it looks kind of yellowy as well. When you blend it out, it definitely kind of, you know, whatever brings together the look. But it's like, it's very yellow. Um, now, for me, this is not from Ulta. And it's a product that I swear by. And I got this product from um, Walmart. Yes, Walmart. For eight dollars and it's a setting powder okay don't fall out yet this is an amazing amazing setting powder and I'm definitely gonna do a video on this I promise you guys cuz I'm telling you like I need a sponsorship from them because this is bomb okay and once again this is not from Ulta um <clears throat> excuse me this is not from Ulta this is from Walmart you could get it from Amazon whatever it's eight dollars and it is the black opal Soft Velvet Finishing Powder in the color, I think it's medium. And this is what it looks like. This is Black Opal. And let me show you guys what it looks like. So it's like that. It is amazing. And I was actually kind of sad that I didn't use it today. I was like, damn, I didn't use it. I didn't use my product, my go-to product, but I just I did want to, you know, try the product that I have bought that I'm gonna be using on my clients. So as you can see, it does the other product does look good, but I swear by this stuff. This is my this is my jam. So if you're looking for a good powder, I would say go with whatever works for you because I know some people who go with airspun because airspun is very, very affordable. But for me, it gives too much flashback. This product right here does not give me any flashback. Um, this product right here, I don't think, I, I don't think that I've, I used this brand before, but I used it in the lighter banana, so I'm assuming this won't give me any flashback, but I'll definitely see when I take a picture, because of course I'm going to have to take a picture. Um, but yeah, so for that, that, that's my little spill on setting powders. I definitely think you should invest in a really, really good setting powder that, if anything, that is what you should do. And sometimes the more expensive products are not the best products. Let's just say that. Sometimes it's just the hype of it all, just to say you have it, just to say you tried it, whatever. But me, I'm a very like realistic person. Like if it's not realistic for me, then it's just not realistic. I'm not trying to keep up because I feel like I do my makeup pretty well and I feel like I do other people's makeup pretty well. So with the products that I use, I definitely want to use a good grade of product, but it doesn't necessarily have to be through the roof, roof, sky high expensive. I just, it's just not, no. So the last product that I bought was the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Hydrating Facial Wipes. And I use this to remove my makeup. I use it, um, I use this to remove my makeup. I use it to just kind of like freshen up my face. Sometimes when I get out the shower, before I get in the shower, before I go to bed. Um, I also use Witch Hazel, so that's just another whatever. But yeah, I, I got this from Ulta as well, and I love it. And that's pretty much it. I, and it smells really good. Shea Moisture's products smell really good. I just don't really like them on my hair. But anyways, that's my video, and that's my Ulta Beauty Haul that I did today. And I think on all of this, I spent a under $130. I know that may seem like a lot, but I got 15 items, I think in total. Yeah, I got 15 items in total. 
So I think I did pretty good and I followed with the sales and stuff like that and these are things that I really, really needed and that some of these things I actually swear by and I really, really love them. And others, you know, I feel like you should do what's feasible for you, especially if you are a freelance makeup artist and if you just want to go out and try new products these are some of the products that I bought that I've used before and that worked for me um, and as you can see you're looking at a product of these products <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you have anything else that you want me to do as far as makeup makeup hauls you want to see more makeup hauls you want to see more beauty hauls it doesn't have necessarily have to be makeup um, hair tutorials I know you guys want me to do the makeup tutorials that's why I was holding off on that one to the last second but I will definitely get you guys a makeup tutorial so um anything just uh list it down below comment like subscribe and until next time toodles